So a big deal that I want to talk about, we received a $100,000 seed grant um, to build a registry for HIE, and I'm really excited about it. We have posted on our blog and just like static content about it, but I want to share a little bit more about why this is so exciting and important. So if you've been around the HIE community for a hot minute, you know that there are endless ways that data is not... Uh, there's a lot of data out there, um, but the data, especially for long-term outcomes with HIE, is lacking. Um, there's a lot of data around causation. There's a lot of data around the neonatal period. There's a lot of data in the first two years, but there is a significant gap moving forward. And with more kids surviving and more kids surviving longer um, over the past 10 years since cooling has been widely implemented, um, we really suffer as a community from um, the long-term data that is not there. Uh, so what's the solution? Like many patient advocacy organizations, let's build a registry. Um, but we don't want to just like recreate the wheel. So we are partnering up with the Cerebral Palsy Research Network and the Newborn Brain Society to build this. Um, and so, so, so excited and proud of the work that we have done thus far, which by the way, is a ton of work and whoo, it takes a long time um, to make things happen and to make change happen, but we're doing it. Um, we have been meeting this, this registry work group for mm, 18 to 24 months now and um, received notice of the grant uh, just a couple months ago. And now we get to share about the details of it. And so um, it's a one-year grant. Over the next year, we have to show a proof of concept. So we need to start enrolling babies into a clinical registry from electronic medical records at two hospital sites. And then we need to enroll families in a patient family inputted registry um, because we um, we are working with CPRN. They currently have 35 sites up and running with their registry, and there's a lot of overlap. They don't have early detection data. So their data starts at CP diagnosis forward. Um, obviously, we know a lot of our kids are at risk, so we're like a great population to partner with and build a registry off of, and you know their infrastructure is up and running. So why try to recreate that? Um, so two of the sites, so, uh, and the registry work group and this grant is being led by a neurologist and a neonatologist. We all know how important it is for those multiple disciplines to come together for this. So I'm super, super excited. And then on the full big planning committee, we have neuropsych, we have, um, you know, other disciplines that are collaborating into this, which is just absolutely fantastic. So over the next year, um, the sites are Colorado Children's and WashU at, um, St. Louis Children's will have the electronic medical record uh, enrollment, and then we'll be building out um, the patient family inputted uh, side of it that we will be able to share um, over the next couple months where families can get going and get started initially with this registry. Uh, things like, you know, timing of diagnosis or um, you know, counseling and communication and, and a lot of these questions that people have um, about, you know, care and how we can, you know, do some QI behind it, as well as, you know, quantify some of this data that we know is, is a gap area, like, uh, you know, like long-term uh, epilepsy onset and things like that. So where can you learn more? I'm so glad you asked. We um, are going to be hosting with the CPRN, uh, the, the registry webinar with Danielle Barber, who is on our medical advisory board. Um, our board of directors, she's an HIE parent, she's a pediatric neurologist, she's also a basic scientist, meaning she does lab work um, in the HIE mouse model, studying sex differences, she's brilliant. Um, and she's, did I mention she's an HIE parent? Because she's, she's also an HIE parent, so she gets it on multiple levels, and she's the principal investigator, so super smart, super fun to work with, um, and our community is really lucky that we have her in this space. Um, Tuesday, November 19th, 8 p.m. Eastern, join us. You can register um, for this, tinyurl.com slash HIE registry webinar, or go to the CPR, CPRN website, and you can do that. So um, please join us. Um, start the conversation in the questions, or in conversation in the questions, start questions in the comments, anything, um, and we can bring it to that webinar as well. So, But it's next week. Hope to see you there, and uh, get pumped. This is a really huge step forward for our community.